what I love about those who do tend to their inner child is that they get to return home to their origins, choosing love and being loved. So secure attachment is what you get when you reparent yourself. If you had an inner child who had to, for some time, lead the way in what are between hypervigilance and maladaptive child behavior and catastrophe thinking, black and white thinking, it doesn't matter which of the diagnoses spectrum that you would be in. At this point in our lovely 2024, we have all the great therapists who are helping all groups to return home to themselves. So when people do emotional lifting, they take themselves seriously. We know that we get an inner child back online and that they get to come and build relationships. So on that note, what's sad is when you know of people who make excuses and they don't go and claim their inner child back. Okay, so it's sad for me when I do become aware of the human suffering love narrative and their excuse. So they say things like this, no, Maria, to do emotions takes a lot of just too much strength. I don't have the strength to go on. No, Maria, you know, I was given the short end of the stick because I got parents who treated me like shit and I know this and that about therapy and da 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 and it's not going to work. Nope. Uh, no, Maria. Men, they're all assholes. No, Maria. Uh, women are all assholes. No, Maria. Humans, they're all sucky. No, Maria. Evil's winning. No, Maria. Okay, so you get the picture? When you are ready to do <laughs> uh, yes, that's a whole different story. So the community here, there's no evil double demon. I'm a 5D mystic. Don't remember that. In the Enlightenment Soul Age Group, there's no laundry because I have a window. Welcome to it. my emotional plane and my inner child is year. I got lucky. I was born spirituality. I have a life of meaning and connection beyond the solo self. I'm a twin, identical, the same sack. Okay, so you can use sciences and spirituality. They're like this. And I am a functional adult and we do functional adult love language. Okay, so it's sad when I know of an inner child that will not be coming home because a person decides to be what Patrick Tiahan, childhood trauma survivor, healed and healing, good therapist, has defined to his community, cowardice. They don't want to do the emotional lifting. Leave them to their own life and you continue building relationships with healthy self-worth, empowered women, men, and days. Okay, so when you have healthy self-worth, there's no grandiosity and there's no shame. There's healthy. Now, when we embrace relationships all spectrums we've been talking about that in fact it is thanks to attachment and trauma information for me that i support people better the ones who are serious about personal development and self-help and the ones who are able to manage what they have their child parts if we need additional support we get that additional support for those who have bigger what i would say are uh, ruptures so if there are ruptures and fragmentation that's when we want to be aware of that and in an effort to support each other this is why it's only going to happen when we have people who are healing their trauma seriously so they have a good therapist they know about emdr child parts work somatics they know about the journey to expanding the window of tolerance and the window of welcome and to talk about thoughts that come up with people that are in their circle so people who heal trauma seriously they build a network because they will be shared and told you want to know who your audience is like patrick tiahan shares but also dr daniel fox two people online you can check them out they both are very helpful and they give you practical practical ways if you are going through any of what i have seen out there with pinocchio so the people who don't want to do any of this Okay, so when you meet people who choose to say to you, I don't want to move on, I don't want to keep going, okay, so it's too hard to do emotions, okay, so we're going to move from that. Uh, It's sad, like I said, but it's sad because it breaks my heart, but I know that I'm not another person, okay, so here's why Enlightenment Soul Age Group will know, like Sadhguru shares, not only that humanity, one, when you overflow with it, your divinity descends, it's because you're a restorative embodiment and you're an integrated brain. So you're a whole person. My default mode network when I meet you is down-regulated. I'm not scanning self and other. 
I'm actually not Isaac or Abraham or Jacob. I got this real great rabbi who talked about these three personalities. I can have all in one, but I'm not scanning self and other. So Isaac and Abraham do one or the other. And then Jacob is the objective one who doesn't do either. So if really we need to pick, I can be a Jacob, but I'm not going to say it that way because I'm Maria. That's my name. <laughs> and I bring together spiritual spirituality and human elements, and I don't ascribe to any of anything. If there's one thing that I know, thank you, Jesus, high five, Jesus is in my corner, and I call God Akash and the sky and dark energy, dark matter, the essence of life and love, and that's to respect others who use the words differently. And I don't do buzzwords, by the way. Teenagers. So remember the mantles of mental health and the mantles of yoga, which are also spiritual bypassers, they are with superhero capes because they have the maladaptive child behavior. The martyrs, superiors, and blamers need superhero capes because they're still fighting the battle, and they're on Elsa's journey. They don't get to the end to figure out, oh, look, I have a three-year-old that wants to get out of the shame. The shame rupture is the inner critic, outer critic, the, that wants to get out of the attachment wound of rejection, of abandonment, of humiliation, of injustice, that wants to be out of it. No, they're, they're just stuck on step four, recovery with bystanders. So they're just prancing around with Braveheart mantles, and you'll notice they, they think that they are wearing a cross to bear the 4D. And whenever they're meeting people, they just use words with them, labels. Oh, look, I'm, I'm this, and I'm bringing light here, and they're bringing light there. And so long story short, leave it alone. Uh, remember, love is inclusiveness. It's to see each other, that felt sense of self. You'll know when you have people who see. It's to hear. You hear what, you, you, you hear what another person's saying when you're present, curious, open, accepting, loving. And we share. We share life. With the differentiated self, I differentiate, you differentiate in a physiological state of compassion. So I'm a functional adult, you're a functional adult. We talk from the heart together and we share time. We share whether it's romance, it's going to be intimate. Romance only comes with those aspects of two people or more, depends if you're monoamory or polyamory in a walk of a walk okay so that one is very straightforward with twin flame and flames we don't have sagas with soulmates because it's people so a person who is a empowered individual we have our inner child in the forefront we're sad when we meet people who don't want to do that emotional lifting the emotional accountability the emotional self-regulation the emotional awareness the self-awareness and we don't do anything about that Pachas don't lecture Cusco. okay so we're a safe haven, secure base for any person and all people, 3D, 4D included, spiritual bypassers. We're not the ones who are going to say, let me tell you about what you're doing. You're, you give me your name, it's your name. And we don't be like, because you are technically from my oversoul, <laughs> you have to stick around. No, no. Uh, in fact, actually concepts like the one and concepts like loving one person, you move beyond them as you have matured. And some of you, I'm sure, are here. Again, I will put that to a side note, we'll talk about that in another episode. In the meantime, love is secure attachment. So it's when you can be yourself in a way that is free, and that's because you have empowerment of the self, okay? And so that's when you don't make excuses up about the emotional stuff. You also don't hide it, and you also don't lock yourself away. When you meet people who make it very clear to us that uh, they know everything, that their inner child will not be being saved because they find emotions too hard to work with. It's the left mode, and that's their chosen human suffering love narrative. Okay, So when you meet human suffering love narrative, what you will find is that they vibe and that they will attract that which they vibe. Uh, it's not anything dangerous because nobody's living a movie. And with good attachment trauma information, like I said, it's just sad sad to know that an inner child can be saved by the human being who's there, but that they find doing any of what is journaling and mindfulness and meditation, so doing good therapy, MDR, child parts work, somatics, okay, doing the stuff, they just say things like, well, we're all fucked up, so I'm just going to stick to this. Okay, so being motivated to be your inner and outer well-being is something that I'm going to say we like to share is possible. It's not something you can impose, especially if somebody has addictions, drugs, fucking alcohol. 
but it's also not something that people will make a big deal. The mantles are the ones who use words such as you're an enabler, you're a this, you're a that. They, they sound really like, <laughs> oh, they sound interesting is what I'm going to say. Okay, that's the black and white thinking again. Any mantle, you'll notice who they are because they're going to take a stand because that's what teenagers do, right? Teenagers, I remember being a teenager. You start to learn how to take the stand. When you're embodying the mature version of you, you're not taking a stand with a small energy. And that's because you're not in your sympathetic. You're in your ventral vagal. It feels really great, FYI, for anyone who knows already, I know, but for anyone who doesn't know, when you are embodying more of the energy body of your three-year-old, because it's your inner child who's here playing, having fun, you're there and you're enjoying relationships. There's no, I'm waiting for the faith of divinity to come and bring me some human being to share life with. There's no, oh, look, if I don't get that job over there, I'm going to be miserable or something. There, there's, I have two hands, I have two feet, I'm lucky, okay? I got emotion. So when you're able to do left and right, put your left foot in, you put your right foot in. Yeah, so left and right mode, this is where it's personal development here and self-help for people who want to do the emotional stuff. And so your inner child wants to come out and play. We're here for the people who do do good therapy because they are going to want to have people who don't get freaked out, meaning, oh my God, how dare you? <laughs> okay, so it doesn't matter which one of those diagnoses out there. When you are a pacha, you're like, welcome. <laughs> hey, let's have fun. Oh, by the way, I don't bullshit people. So if you get sensitive about anything, uh, you should know I'm not going to ask you about it. And if you don't tell me, I'm not going to know about it. Okay, sad when we see people who don't want to do the work, uh, sad when we hear them say, no, I can't get out of bed today and tomorrow and after tomorrow. I just wanted to regurgitate, vomit all of everything and say, Maria, life sucks. Men suck. Women suck. Okay. So once that wheel, <laughs> we put that to the side, we hug them. They're okay. They're going to come back whenever it is. And, uh, that's what happens. And the human love narrative, on the other hand, we're going to talk a little bit about that one in a bit. I'm going to make another episode, but to close this one out. Kind and compassionate is not what those who do not choose love see when they meet a 5D mystic empowered woman like myself and any one of you who's empowered. And if you're not a mystic, you're a functional adult. And if you're not that, you're enlightenment. All of these words mean something to the people who know what I'm talking about because you're an expanding piece of consciousness. And these words mean that you know <laughs> emotions and thoughts. It's simply put, I'm a human, you're a human too, and you got a whole three-year-old heart. Okay, so when... I'm looking at you and you're looking at another person. You're like, where's the party at? If they get in your face in a different way, it can't be that bad. Not the people I'm talking to. Now, if you are a person who still doesn't know healthy boundaries, please come back. And actually, there's a couple of episodes where I talk about how it works for us. And that's why, as I was saying, integration of the brain made visible, according to our lovely Dr. Daniel Siegel. Thank you so much, Dr. Daniel. Okay, sometimes I need to remember to add that word, although he doesn't mind because he is in the research. He is doing stuff, and he's really smart. And like smart people, we're not flat earthers. I'm sorry, flat earthers. I love you. You're great, but you're using your brains in ways that really. <laughs> so whenever you meet teenagers, they got a superhero cape, and they got a super, you know, again, they're, they're trying to prove there's some villain out there hiding some shit of information. It's like, wow. So for the mantles of mental health and the mantles of yoga, I just keep seeing human suffering and Elsa Journey people doing pseudo-aliveness in their codependent relationships. They don't learn how to be love for real. They don't even know what love is yet because there's no three-year-old. So they have a type of love, of course. I'm saying they don't have the secure attachment. So their adrenaline and all that in and out and their pseudo-aliveness and their drama and their they're like the teenagers I met when I was a teenager. And I was a teenager. The biochemistry of a teenager is different than the biochemistry of you as you grow up, but not different if you stay hooked on what is a sympathetic. Yeah, it's a whole different story. So I'm not even going to go there because right now that was completely side, side note, sidetrack to where I was closing with, which is let's build those beautiful 5D relationships, being here for people who want safe haven, secure bases. The ones who are not open to being intimate with their self are not open to being intimate with you. And we won't make them do anything. And when they bring us their vomit, because that's all they want to do is say, Maria, men suck, women suck, humans suck, life sucks, everything sucks. I already heard that when I was a teenager. I'm like, no, but okay, for you it does. 
I'm not in the same boat. I don't have human suffering. I have human love. I chose it. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus showed me the way. So did God. And I never begged for anything in the way that I see some people feeling and shouldn't use the word beg, but that's what it looks like sometimes. And then I say, wait, wait, wait. There's that secondary consciousness. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. And then I think that poor inner child, nobody's going home to save that zero one year old or three year old. And it makes me think of my teacher, Sue Martin, who says, yep, teenagers ruling the plane if they're not their adult self. And then I think of Patrick Tian, who says, yep, the past is ruled by the inner child who will rule you until you become the adult of you. But that means to reparent you, which means to go to good therapy, which means to get out of the life sucks, Maria, men suck, women suck, and all the things of sucky land that the human suffering love group, like a Zen master who says, you got laundry in your body. You can't be enlightened. Yeah, okay, <laughs> you have laundry in your body, not, uh, not over here, not sad guru, and not neuroscientists who know how to be in flow state. And none of the ones of us who know how to be in the enlightenment state and consistently, because why would we look out? There's no shit show. There's definitely a lot of, we don't agree on everything, but see, here's where grownups know, well, hello, <laughs> we have differences. Does nobody know what differences are? Ah, the mantle people. That's right. I keep forgetting. They don't know how differences don't mean defective. The shame cycle. That's right. They don't want to go to good therapy. That's right. I forgot. They're left and right mode. They have non-bilateral integration. Okay, I'm starting. Oh, yes, they got a Peter Pan with a Wendy, and there's your groups of flat earthers and all those other people with those ethical cults and culty cults and traditional cults, and they need an ancient silverback. Hell, Zen master, they found you. So that they could find excuse of no no maria there's laundry you can't be in the enlightenment soul age room <laughs> well you know i can't prove it so sure <laughs> that's how it works for grown-ups uh we have fun in our relationships with other grown-ups and we love emotions and thoughts and there's a bunch of successful entrepreneurs open-minded entrepreneurs uh, professionals too but you know the entrepreneur community i love them because i'm in that community and they usually have brilliant brilliant ideas when they're the ones who are positive no, oh, no, the negative ones, we keep them away. <laughs> like Albert Einstein says, one, they're not geniuses with their REM. They don't sleep well at night. They don't do anything about those nightmares. They don't even believe in Patrick McNamara, a neuroscientist who shows there's a fear receptor in your brain. Acts wonky. You don't have to put up with those nightmares. And if you go extreme, you're not really expanding. And that decentralization of the self will be lost from one extreme to the other, which I've seen. It's why we have the rumor about yoga bringing demons out of you yes i watched part of this interview which i was like what because a, a smart person of mine <laughs> brought it to my attention and i was humored because not only do i have to witness things again i'm the stupidest person in the book but please if you bring me something like that and i'm the mystic here okay I'm just going to say what I observed was two things. One, a person who believed that based on their own ancient silverback ways, because I was raised with the same equation, it's just the difference is I know when you're telling me a story and as I'm getting older, it's a story. It's not provable. So don't give me the word faith. I have faith. I have faith in my connection and not in a book that you're going to keep presenting to me like I'm supposed to see it as something made of gold. I don't know. Is it, Even if it were made out of gold, it's I forgot how to remind people, inner children are independent. Mahasamadhi samadhi. You're speaking from your mouth. You don't say anything different than, excuse me, you're not, you're not here. Don't you know what it means to be a healthy self-worth? Whatever comes out of your mouth. I'm not a child. I'm a grown human being and I'm a piece of consciousness. And even as a child, I'm like, huh, I'm going to think about that one. I'm not sure yet. My gut says no. Yep, my stupid feeling says no. And until my stupid feeling says no, but you know, the difference is I don't make any choices until I'm pretty certain about what I'm thinking. <laughs> no, I'm pretty certain about what I'm seeing and saying. So, you know, there are, there are those of us who know how to walk a walk and talk a talk, and that's because we are smart entrepreneurs. We make calculated risks, which aren't risks. We know that. We understand what that is. In fact, actually, what I love even more about being smart. So the other thing I noticed was that the other human being had a really bad trip. So they went from one extreme of being a complete yoga fanatic to the opposite and saying yoga brings demons out of you. And apparently she didn't find out about Peter Levine and trauma memory in her body. So she also didn't find there's this great, great dude. He just began a channel. I love it. I have to go watch more of his stuff. And he, he explains what happens when people don't have a good therapist working with them with yoga and mindfulness. Yeah. So some people like me, holistic, we care. Uh, we care for a lot of reasons. I care about your inner well-being. So 
as I kept moving forward, I'm going to help people be themselves. I was like, you know what? Attachment and trauma information is available. (gasps) And my mind was blown away. And now I'm like, okay, I'm going to keep learning about this stuff. And I get to bring sciences and spirituality and know that with the spiritual, my subjective mystic experience, it's pseudoscience, woo-woo lady, but you better bet I know yoga don't bring no demon out of you. And I could look at myself in the face and say, wow, I had a really bad experience. Maybe I should go and check out a good therapist to figure out why I have so much suffering still going on in my body Hmm. versus spreading rumors and being a contradiction. I saw another person who also contradicted herself as she spelled out all the people in the yoga community. They're all, she used the worst word. What was it? This is a famous person. They're all desperate. They're all desperate. And there was, and I'm like, wow, you are such a hypocrite, one. Two, you obviously didn't even notice you're still suffering. Three, how dare you insult the entire community of those of us who do spirituality and yoga, did it based on your own? And then I'm like, well, you know what? Those people, they all serve a purpose. Remember, Maria, they can, like the Zen master, the 3D, 4D people who need to hear, ah, there are some people that are just so, you know, it's unfortunate. Anytime you see anyone dismantling human beings, they're not creatives. They're a very, very sad human suffering love narrative story, which does not even remotely make my brain think, wow, how intellectually smart are you? No, I can get the same information from a different book and make more out of it because of the way my brain works. You just created a story for the people who are not going to believe in themselves enough to go and recognize that there's no excuse for why they have to be in suffering in here. And remember, I focus on relationships, the societal stuff. I'm a political science major. I already figured that stuff out a long time ago. Yeah, we're not going to talk about politics. That's where I'm going to shut and say peace out. It's been nice being with you. Like, subscribe. We'll be back with something focused on love. for the lovely functional adults. And again, thank you to all of those of you who are letting that inner child come out. We are here all together. Human evolution and expanding consciousness, sciences and spirituality come together. Those lovely other people, 3D, 4D, no, leave them alone. I thought they'd join us at some point. I'm realizing it's not going to be it, and that's okay. They're going to be on Elsa's journey. We don't need them to join the land of the uh, living. They're going to be in the land of the pseudo-living, which is like an action movie. So you can easily spot them. They have a stream of uh, consciousness that is of a specific Peter Pan story. You'll find it. They're like threads. If you're that, if you're, if you're like I am, you're going to be like, oh, there's one, oh, there's one, oh, there's one again. Oh, there, there they are. So they're just all over the place. And that's for my 5D mystics because I know those of you who come in for the self-help stuff, you're interested more in how amazing it is to have relationships with, yes, men, women, and days. I don't know any days yet, but I will let you know. So the healthy, self-worth, empowered people, we let our inner child come out and play. So we build mer people and snow people, depending on what your preferences are of the seasons. <laughs> I like hot weather, summer beaches, and, and, and swimming when it's warm enough, though. <laughs> but snow is pretty. It's pretty for Christmas. That's about it. Yes, and I am that person. I like a Christmas tree, stuff like that. That's, side note, food for thought shares. Oh, yes, I have fun. I have some funny stories on that. You know the mantles? Yeah, the mantle people. Mantle people are amazing. (laughs) Okay, I need to go now. We're going to have another episode. We'll be back shortly. (laughs)